But first, our top story with Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard. She, of course, is a 2020 Democratic presidential candidate, candidate and is leading the charge against Tom Perez, the DNC chair, right now. Congresswoman, thanks for coming in. Thanks, Ed. How are you? I'm doing great. What is your case against Tom Perez, starting with Iowa, as we see these new reports suggesting maybe the DNC was more deeply involved in that app that caused the chaos? It comes down to a failure of leadership, and there are numerous examples of this failure of leadership that uh, has shaken the trust and faith that voters in this primary election should have that when they go and cast their votes, their voices will be heard. Mm -hmm. There has been an incredible lack of transparency around the failures of the Iowa caucuses, uh, the app that was such a terrible failure, and the DNC's involvement in this. You had a former Iowa Democratic Party chair saying the Iowa Democratic Party should sue the DNC for making them use this app that had been completely untested, and that if you look at who was involved with this app, you have Hillary Clinton's former campaign manager, Robbie Mook. You have people who are very deeply entrenched in the powerful elite in Washington mm -hmm. who are backing this app. What's, what's really going on here? Uh, you mentioned the DNC changing the rules to let the billionaire yeah. Michael Bloomberg onto the debate stage, picking and choosing who they want voters to hear from, rather than letting voters get the information they need to make that best informed decision when they go to the ballot box. Here's what Tom Perez said in fairness to him when pressed on whether he should step down. Have you considered resigning? Absolutely not. Look at the last three years. My job when I came in was to rebuild our infrastructure, to win elections. And when you do that, sometimes you got to make tough decisions. We have been winning. This is what it's about. I think it's really important for people to take a, a broader step back right now. He clearly seems to be hanging it on the winds back in the midterms, looking in the rearview mirror. What is your concern moving forward? Uh, look, Tom Perez, in his own words, said, you know, leading up to the Iowa caucuses, we have been working towards this day for three years, expressing his confidence that that we were ready. Well, clearly that wasn't the case. This is bigger. Uh, uh, th this includes other issues that really speak to a disrespect to voters, Democratic voters across this country who deserve more than a DNC and their corporate mm -hmm. media partners holding their own pre-primary selection process, uh, making it very difficult or impossible for voters to hear from candidates that they don't want them to hear from. This is about the people of our country, not the powerful elite in Washington. Mm -hmm. And this has consistently been the message of my campaign that we are taking out to voters uh, all across this country, but, that we, the people, have to yeah. exercise our voices to bring about this but change. But what is behind this? What do you think? When you were saying a moment ago that Hillary Clinton's people were involved in the app originally, are you suggesting that there's some sort of conspiracy or problem? The president was out there uh, with this tweet today uh, suggesting that maybe uh, this is being rigged. He says it is happening again to Crazy Bernie, just like last time, only far more obvious. They are taking the Democratic nomination away from him, and there's very little he can do a rigged system. What is happening here? Okay, I, I think it's important to be able to look at the facts and the evidence and what really led up to this failure and who was involved and the lack of transparency around all of this from start to finish is raising a lot of questions and concerns in the minds of voters about how could this be allowed to happen mm -hmm. and what's really going on. Voters deserve to have the confidence, especially as we head into this critical election, right. once again, that but this this primary election will work for them. I've got 30 seconds, but going back to 2016, you had endorsed Bernie Sanders. The Clintons obviously didn't like that. You have this lawsuit against Hillary Clinton because she said you were a favorite of the Russians and you call that defamation. Uh, Hillary Clinton has been attacking Bernie Sanders, has been saying she's not sure she can support him. What's really happening in the Democratic Party when there's these claims of unity and wanting to take out the president? Why all the infighting? It is, it is a distraction and noise away from the real change that we seek to bring about in this country, one that, that will uh, be, be driven forward by voters in this country, Democrats, Republicans and independents, mm -hmm. people who are coalescing and supporting my campaign, saying, hey, we want to put our country first and really usher in a bright future and a mm -hmm. government of, by and for the people. 
we're going to agree to disagree on some things, but we've got to stand together, right. motivated by this love of country. Congresswoman Gavin, we appreciate you coming in. Thanks, Ed.